We are alone in the house. Wes Craven is dead. This is the August 31st edition of the Snap Daily. I'm Louis Fertel. Yes, that's right. Horror master Wes Craven has died. God called him and said, if you hang up on me, I'll gut you like a fish. Let's pick his five best moments, shall we? Number one, his scariest movie of all time is one of his first, The Last House on the Left, which featured the scariest group of sociopaths on screen until the advent of YouTube stars. A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the only movie brave enough to put Johnny Depp in a supporting role. Can we get back to this? It also proved that nothing is scarier than a man who enters your dreams dressed like a douchebag. Number three, Music of the Heart. This is a movie with an in sync theme that originally starred Madonna in the lead role. That's right, a true horror movie. By the way, the Madonna role eventually went to Meryl Streep, who would get an Oscar nomination for this movie. If there was a gay Bible, turning a Madonna role into an Oscar-nominated Meryl Streep role would be the miracle in the Gospels. It's not one of his most famous movies, but The Serpent in the Rainbow features a really terrifying live burial, which is really relevant in horror movies today because it's what I want to do to M. Night Shyamalan. And finally, the greatest Wes Craven movie and my favorite horror movie is Scream. One, because it made us believe that nothing is scarier than a world without caller ID or a mask that looks like Cher laughing. Before Scream, we thought of Nev Cam is just a perturbed actress. In this movie, she's perturbed, but running sometimes. Scream, to my eyes, is the best scary movie of all time, and Drew Barrymore's scariest haircut since Boys on the Side. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.